game? Yeah, just a hard, difficult first half um, and hole to dig ourselves out of. Um, arguably three quarters, I would say. Uh, just didn't do a great job of rebounding the basketball. And uh, just in that first half, I don't know that we were as in attack mode as we were on Thursday. Um, so just about us more than anything this year, responding to adversity and things that happen. You know, we finished the first quarter at 16 to 10, not a bad first quarter, um, just in terms of defensively holding them to 16 and then just couldn't find a rhythm on the offensive end. Um, and then obviously their second half rebounding wise, you know, I think they ended up having anywhere between 10 and 12 offensive rebounds in the second half really hurt us because they might not have scored on those offensive possessions, but it took an offensive possession away from us that we, that we really needed, so. The second half was definitely a half of runs. Uh, you guys would get concerned, and I know around they were counter with one themselves. It seemed to be going back and forth. Just talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I think we cut, we cut it to nine or 10 there uh, in the third, beginning of fourth. And then they went on another 8-0 run, you know. So you you try to claw back in those situations and fight. And our our freshman guard Ava Stoller said it better than anybody in the locker room. You know, we choose to fight after we've already, you know, been back and behind instead of choosing to fight from the beginning of the game. You know, and I don't think we had that life that we needed when the when the ball tipped up. Just talk a little bit about this. Yeah, uh, hard to put into words what they've meant to our program. Um, obviously, you have a staff and a program that's trying to rebuild. And you find great people in the transfer portal um, who are from great families. And I think that's really difficult and hard to find. You know, I explained to our team, you have this small window uh, from a recruitment and coaching staff standpoint where you can get to know people within that transfer portal. You know, you got about a month and a half after the year's over to really get to know people. And Liv and KK came along and obviously knew each other really well. Uh, we loved their vibe. We loved their ability to work through tough time and adversity. Um, and they brought some great leadership skills to our group. Uh, great examples for the future for our younger players too. So we, we love them. We'll, we'll really miss them. Um, Obviously, KK's in the midst of recovering from an injury here, uh, but Liv's going to go on and move on with her, her life, and she'll always be a Cougar, and uh, she'll always be welcome back here. So more than anything, I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed because I think their, their years could have been a lot better from a basketball standpoint, though I know that their years off the court were really special, so. I'm going to ask a question. Um, oh, yeah. Just, like, for the seniors, like, what does this day mean to you guys um, as Um, I think it was just really nice to have a day with KK. I think she's been passed up a lot of opportunities to have her senior day. So to celebrate um, four years of doing this in college, just it was really impactful and really important to me, and it was a great way to go out. Um, I would say this has been like, granted, yeah, we took, we didn't really finish the day how we wanted it to, but just getting to spend the day with the girls that I got to spend the day with has been amazing. Like, I feel like this is an amazing group of girls. The record we have is not a reflection of the type of people we are, the type of basketball players we are. So, it overall, it's just, it's gonna be, it's a great day so far. Yeah, like, how did your, um, can you talk about, like, how, how did your injuries set you back this season? Um, I really wouldn't say it set me back. Grant, yes, I was having a good season, like, prior to the injury. But I feel like it allowed me to step into a different role. Um, a lot of the coaches always tried to get me to like be more vocal and stuff like that. But I was always like a lead by example type of player. But I feel like this has helped me prepare for that. This question would be for both KK and Olivia. Just talk a little bit about your transition from coming from Tulsa, coming to SIUE. And if, when you think about it, what's your greatest takeaway from your time here at SIUE? Um, I feel like. Transitioning from Tulsa to here, they showed me that it is possible to have a family within a basketball program. I didn't get that much of a, that feel from Tulsa, and you know, coming here, Coach Sam, Coach Jess, she was here, Coach um, Coach Bruna, Coach Ariel, they opened up their arms with me, their arms to me, and I feel like that's been my biggest thing. Like anywhere I went, it's always I wanted to be a part of a family, and that's what I got here. Yeah, I would say same thing, but also um, I left in the middle of my college career and I was moving away from home and it was a big transition for me, but they made it go seamlessly and I couldn't be more grateful for the coaches I got. And then Coach, uh, you know, after senior day, you guys hit the road for four straight. Uh, just talk about what's the mindset of the game plan going into those last four games of the 
yeah, just a real focus on bringing it every day with the, you know, lingering concept in your mind that this is going to be over soon. And so breaking this all up into small mini games, mini possessions, knowing that we've got to come ready to play every day. We've got to come at, to every possession ready to play. Can't take any time off, any possessions off. So I think that part's really, really important. Yeah, we're going to have a day off tomorrow, but I just mean in real time, in a practice, in a game when the ball jumps up on Thursday that we're ready to play at the jump and we don't show up once we're down 18 or 16. You know, and I think our team got a real taste of that today. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you.